Lazy bots for smart people. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Power Automate Learning Series. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert any kind of documents to PDF. Actually, we are going to use a third-party service called Mukambi. And Mukambi is a good platform which provides more services like conversion, merging, watermarking, and some other advanced operations like OCR operations on PDFs. Using I will put a link on the description. You can check that. So let's jump into the content. First of all, I will show you the input file which we are going to convert to PDF. This is a document file which is in a format of docx. Let's open that and let's assemble CV format. and we have two folders here one is in and one is out the input files are placed in in and out files are stored in the output folder so we can start with the in arguments we have three in arguments one is the api key of mohimbi api then two folder parts one is input folder and the other is output folder input folder will contain the input files so what we are going to do is first we will use a get files in folder action so by using this action we can get a list of files in the specified folder and we have a file filter here which is used to filter a particular type of files if we specify the file format here that will pick only the corresponding type file and another option is include subfolder by enabling this option we can access the files in the subfolders also and if we need to sort the files or anything like that we can use the advanced options available and the variable produced will be a files list so if we can I type on that files variable, you will get the file path. That is what we are going to do next. So that we are using a for each action. In for each, we are providing the files variable in the field of value to iterate. And the output variable of that will be a correct file. That is for each iteration, they will get one file. So after getting a file, we are going to convert that to a base64 string because the API will accept the base64 string as an input. So for that, we are going to use PowerShell scripting language. So executing PowerShell script test, we are using run PowerShell script action. I will open that and this is the script for converting file to base64 stream and here we can see that the first one is operation that is convert to base64 stream then we will specify the path argument here we will pass the current file variable which will contain the path to current file and next one is encoded type that is byte and the output will be powershell output and script error if there is any error in executing the script we can see that in script error if it works properly then the output will be in powershell output that is our base 64 thing it is stored in powershell output let's click on save after converting to base 64 string, we will just trim the text to skip the extra spaces in the starting and ending. For that, I have used trim text action. And after that, we are going to get the file name. 
work as I have used this file path part manager. In this, we will provide the current file path and as output, we will get some data related to that file which will contain the root path, directory, file name and file name without extension and file name extension. So we can use these things whenever we need it. Yes click on save so we can proceed with our flow here we are using only the file next one is our main operation that is the api code for that we used invoke web service action and in the url part i have specified the api endpoint with the api key as a parameter you can see that in the screen I will put this on the description also the API key will be available in the website the link to get that key is provided in the description you can check that and the method in this API call is for I mean, accept and conduct type as application JSON we are not providing any custom headers and request body this is a predefined format for MB and the things we are specifying here is the file name which we got in the previous action the file name variable and the trim text that is the base 64 trim generator using power shell script and after trim action and the output format will be here and there is an option to copy metadata that is much but I will contain the properties of file like who created when created like that if we need that we can set that to otherwise it is false and tail on error just drawn true and in the advanced section we can set the connection type of like this and follow the direction enable first of the things we can disable it is enabled already and we will get three outputs here one is web service response header web service response and status code click on save once we done with the api part we will convert the response to json object that is done by convert json to custom object and then access the required output file content using the processed underscore file underscore content key and that is stored into a variable called output underscore content this data is required while creating the output file and here you have seen that i have invoked the web api and then directly converted the response to json instead of that you can check the status code and if it is okay only you can convert the json to custom object and continue the process actually that is the best practice and safest method here since i am just demonstrating the process i just did that part you can follow that method and the output content variable contains the base 64 string for the output file so just before creating the file, I am just trimming that base 64 string to avoid the preceding and following extra white spaces. For that, I am using the same trim action. And after that, the final part is here. We are going to generate the PDF file. For that, I am calling that PowerShell script again. In this script, we are going to convert the base 64 string to a PDF file. This is the script here, and we are generating the destination path by combining the output folder argument and then the file name plus the .pdf extension. The trimmed text to is the base 64 string which we got from the API response and that is going to return into the pdf output file that is specified in the powershell script 
and here also we will get two output one is power set output 2 and script error 2 and that's all about the flow if you have multiple files in the flow since it is in a for each loop it will process all the files now there is no files in the output folder i have started the run and let's see the output folder it is running the flow it's a api path wait for the api to complete we got the response and the writing is in progress yeah now we can see a pdf file here we we'll just open that yes now we can see the same pdf file with a watermark and that watermark is because we are using a trial of that api we can remove that watermark by by obtaining a production license from them i will provide a link to their website in the description you can check that